Well, first of all, no, I don't think America is a racist country. Racist country. Racist country. Racist country. Dr. Umar Johnson is a very talented individual, albeit cringe at times. You know, we're going to have a Garvey baby. Lord have mercy, Sister Danielle. You must not have heard me. Sister Danielle wants to have a Garveyite baby with King Kong Alicia. Sister Danielle. Mm, and she fine too. Look at them eyes. Sister Danielle, listen, baby, we got to build the nation first. If I give up all my testosterone, I won't have no energy to build the nation. I got to build first, okay? We must build before the back shots. We must handle the business before the back shots. It is consciousness over the cookies. It is politics over the punani. It is revolution over the romance. Sister Danielle wants to have a baby with King Kong Alicia. She fine too. Lord have mercy. Might have triplets. But Sister Danielle, stay focused, my sister. Understand, overstand, and understand that the building, the nation building must come before the back shots. I said the nation building must come before the back shots. Brothers and sisters, we must stay focused. We must stay focused. But nevertheless, Dr. Umar Johnson is consistent on one thing, respecting and defending black women. Why is it so prevalent? Black women, when you find out your son, your nephew, your uncle, your brother, your father is beating on their women, have you called the police? Black men, when you find out your son, your nephew, your father, your uncle, your brother is beating up on black women, do you chin check him? Do you grab him by the collar? Do you pull him out the house and give his ass a, 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 a good stomping that he deserves? No, you don't. You know what we do, Art? We turn the other cheek. You got black women being beat up in black churches. You got black women being abused in the mass gym. Jehovah Witnesses. All organizations, you can't name me, an organization, black conscious movement, mainstream black America, black church, black masjid, fraternity, sorority, Masonics, I don't care what it is, black women are being beat, black pastors are beating up their women and everybody's turning a blind eye. And this is something that Dr. Umar Johnson has been known for in his works. Since I've known him, he's always talked about the black man building for the black woman and protecting black women, which as a pro-black, I'm a thousand percent in agreement with. And Dr. Umar Johnson also, to his credit, never goes back and forth with black women for the most part. Black women can criticize him, they can call him names, and he will not disrespect them at all, which shows me that Dr. Umar Johnson, to a certain degree, has a love and respect for black women despite his despite his affinity for big booty rounded sisters. But let me get back to the point. If Dr. Umar Johnson does criticize a black woman, it typically means that particular individual is so out of pocket that he has to say something. And that brings us to Kamala Harris, who in her own right has a troubled past, not because of Willie Brown. Yeah, that was a big sex scandal back in the 90s when he was the mayor of San Francisco. And not because of Montel Williams. That's not what we're dealing with today. We're talking about Kamala Harris and her running for president for the Democratic Party. This disturbed Dr. Umar Johnson on the Art of Dialogue show, but we'll get into that in a minute. But there are certain things that I want to establish. Is Kamala Harris black? She has a Jamaican father and an Indian mother. Before we get into this, to make sure that there is no bias, we would need to know how does Dr. Umar Johnson identify a woman he considers a black woman? I want to talk to my mixed race. If you are a mixed race African, please check in right now. If you are a mixed race African, I want you to understand, understand and overstand me. I want to talk to those of you who have one non-African parent. If you have one non-African parent, you are a mixed race African. I need to holler at you. You have one African parent and you have a non-African parent. You have an African parent and you have a non-African parent. This is what I want to say to you. My mixed race Africans, I need you to understand. You have to claim your identity before anybody else will respect it. You have to know who you are. The problem with some mixed race Africans is you are uncomfortable about your identity. You haven't made up your mind yet as to whether or not you want to live as a biracial, 
You haven't made up your mind if you want to live as an undercover white person. You don't know what you want to be. Once you have come to the realization, once you have come into the consciousness that you are a black man or a black woman and you affirm that the world will respond to you based on your foundation. You have to stand first in order for the world to sit down. When I hear mixed race Africans say, Dr. Umar, I'm not sure. That's okay. It's okay to go through some confusion. Okay. But in order to come out of that confusion, you have to make up your mind. It's okay to go through some confusion. But in order to come out of that confusion, you have to make up your mind and say, I'm going to live my life as an African. So check mark there. Now his opinion on a black woman would be different from hashtag FBA or ADOS. But Dr. Umar Johnson, unlike Tariq Nasheed, is a pan-African thinker. And even Tariq would consider her to be partly black, but not FBA. But we get it, Dr. Umar Johnson would assign her to the same class as he would any other black woman regardless of skin complexion. Now that we have that established, then what is his second thing he's talking about? And you heard in the clip, do you identify with a black mind? This is very important for Dr. Umar Johnson. He would like to know that since you do have a black or African ancestry, have you made the decision to stick up for your people, to stick up for your group? How do you feel about your group? Now stop the show. This is important. Kamala Harris graduated from Howard University, a private institution founded on the behalf of African Americans, hashtag FBA, we now know it's hashtag ADOS. So we know that Kamala Harris has that experience of dealing with the black community. She was drawn to Howard University. She could have went to any other school. I'm pretty sure she had good grades, but she wanted the black experience so she would know it. But when we talk about reparations, she feels like this. Do you support reparations for black people? The, the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not gonna sit here and say, I'm gonna do something that's only gonna benefit black people. No. No, doesn't really wanna give the black community the benefit of the doubt. So now that we have those qualifications, let's get into Dr. Omar Johnson's breakdown of Kamala Harris. First of all, why does he not want her to be president? Speaking of Kamala, right, how do you feel about her? Cause I know you made a comment earlier saying that she don't claim her black side. A uh, house nigga. Just like Barack Obama, they do what they need to do to stay close to the white power structure. Uh, she made a career locking up black people. This is the same woman who went on international television art. Let me remind you about a year or two ago and said America is not a racist country. You want me to go vote for a so-called black woman who went on international television and told the world that America is not a racist country. She spit in the face of the family of Trayvon Martin. She spit in the face of the family of Breonna Teller. She spit in the face of the family of Michael Brown, Alton Sterling, Philando Castile, Amir Locke, Dante. We can go on and on. Tamir Rice, all the Africans murdered by police which are state sanctioned executions. Let us be clear. Uh-huh. The first thing that she says is America is not racist. Now this is interesting. A woman who is black, who went to an HBCU, whose father also was Jamaican, who I'm pretty sure uh, experienced racism in the early 60s. You say that America is not a racist country, despite the fact that the police have killed black people over and over and over again. And I'm not the biggest police brutality expert, but it has happened. So right there, you're not identifying with the black struggle at all. So the next part of this is, does he look at her any different because she's light skinned? And in response to all this racism, the execution of George Floyd, this part-time black woman says America is not racist. And when I say part-time art, I'm not poking fun at her because she's being mixed race. I want to be clear. I'm poking fun at her because she can rarely be found speaking up for black people. My issue ain't her being mixed race. Nobody's responsible for how they come into this world. My issue with her is not identifying with her people. Nope, not one bit. Let's go to the next part, Umar. I remember another interview I saw with Kamala Harris Art, and she said, somebody asked her, what are y'all going to do for black people? 
And she said, we can't pass laws just for black people. She said this. We can't do things just for black. Well, Kamala Harris, can I ask you a question, Madam Vice President? If y'all, if the Democratic Party can't do anything just for black people, why did y'all pass a law only for Asians? Why did y'all pass a law only for Native Americans? Why did y'all pass a law only for transgenders? Why did y'all pass a law only for LGBTQs? Why did y'all pass a law only for immigrants? If you can't do anything just for black people, this is what she said. It came out of her mouth. If you can't do anything just for black people, how was it possible for you and President Biden to do all these other things for specific ethnic groups in this country from whose benefit no other group can take anything from. Complete contradiction. Kamala Harris is not for black people. So Kamala Harris does not want to do anything for just African-Americans or blacks. But Dr. Umar Johnson rebuttals that with her track record. Why did they make a law for Asians? Why did they make a law for gays? And these are laws that none of us as African-Americans can benefit from. And also Kamala Harris and Joe Biden's administration is responsible for one of the biggest migrant crises in the history of the United States, which then also also puts the black community at a certain level of decline when it comes to opportunity in voting block numbers. So how can you do these things for other groups yet not doing the things for the group that you said should be included with everyone else when they have been disenfranchised as you've already admitted for over 200 years. Now, with that argument as it is right there, we don't really need to deal with the fact that Kamala Harris is married to a white guy or Kamala Harris had other guys before. I mean, I know I put that in the video, but that was just being funny. We don't need to throw any personal shots at her, what she looks like, what her religious beliefs are. It doesn't matter. What he just described was every good reason why she shouldn't be supported by blacks. That is exactly why Dr. Umar Johnson doesn't want to support her. And Dr. Umar Johnson always supports black women. Always. Dr. Umar Johnson is not even really critical of black women like that. And when he does so, it's out of extreme levels of love. He treads very lightly. So for Dr. Umar Johnson to, to come after Kamala Harris, it must be a red flag. Now, unfortunately, some of the black women in the black community don't see it in that same regard because they've helped raise $1.5 million over a Zoom call. But that's another reason why they're doing it. But this is why I feel Dr. Omar Johnson is 100% right. And a lot of blacks should look at this as well. Talking to somebody who doesn't know about your struggle or doesn't want to identify with your struggle, I can understand. But Kamala Harris was in the club. She grew up as an African-American. She had a lot of African-American friends. African-Americans put her on into politics. She went to an HBCU, her and her sister. She knows friends from the black community. You cannot tell me that Kamala Harris doesn't know. She knows, she's experienced it. She knows about the Elaine Locks and the Langston Hughes and all of those people who are associated with Howard University and, and everything like that. She knows it, but guess what? It doesn't matter. And that's the sad part. Now, how can somebody who understands my plight still don't feel I should have a law for reparations? That's just sad. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson, back at it again another episode of the celebrity junk i appreciate your father you do subscribe to the bell we're out